this is just a clip about getting the maximum out of your batteries, and that's pretty important if you've got a lot of vehicles around the place. But you know, I've had Ruby here since oh gee, since I had hair, and now she needs another battery. So let's have a look. So this is what I've always done. It's always worked for me. The US is an American-made battery. Now you don't touch the alfoil caps; just leave them the way they are, and then essentially pop it up on top. This is an AGM battery which means absorbed glass mat. Now that'll sit there and these levels will slowly go down as the uh, electrolyte goes into the battery. The advantage of this of course is that when you buy this battery and put the electrolyte in that's the first time it's used so it's just 100% fresh. You can feel it's starting to get warm empty and then the caps that came off the bottles just get pushed back in there and that's it that's it for the life of the battery no discharge tubes and I know from experience that it really is about how fresh the battery is when you put it in it's not the only thing you want to make sure and this applies to trucks cars whatever you're doing but if you've got a fresh battery the first thing you do is charge it you know even though this battery would probably hop in the bike and I know it would start, it'd be clocking about 12.4 volts just as it is. The best thing you can do is take all the load off it by charging it thoroughly. It says so on the battery. And believe it or not, with the little C-Tech, it's still going to take three hours before it's ready. Now, this battery came with a selection of screws. You can see I had to shorten one of the longer ones there just because you don't want to screw through into the battery terminals or everything um, you might have noticed how bad my wiring is that's because I do it myself and that's why there is a fuse on every one of those wires close to the battery even the earth don't ask me why um, the next thing you should do doesn't matter whether it's a truck or a bike is get some lanolin either the oil or the grease or something like it but lanotex the best and coat the terminals um, coat every part of it this is going to stop corrosion and trust me it'll last for the life of the battery just about it's amazing and of course the big thing about this is that by having everything nice and slippery when it goes together you're not going to break anything now that's kind of crucial with motorbike batteries but it's amazing how many people can you know shorten the life of a big truck battery just by over tightening the terminals or doing something wrong in something that should be fairly simple. Now, as you can see, I coat the whole lot with Lanatec grease. Um, it's a thin coating. On my trucks, hanging out on the outside, it nearly always winds up getting grotty. A little bit of Citroforce, done. And there you go, nice strong battery. I'll get years more of riding out of the old girl now. Might go and blow some more hair out, eh? You know, you can't buy a fillable battery like that off the shelf in Australia. But what you can do is make sure you buy a battery that's made here in Australia. And that means it's a century. I'm just charging up a couple of new ones for Milo too. So I'll go for a ride while that's happening. See you guys.